Hey Space Watchers and welcome back. It's day number five here in Paris at the World Space Business Week. So, and I have the absolute honor now to speak with the Vice President of NSG, the new space group, Hassan Al Johani. Hassan, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm uh, fine. How are you doing? I'm doing fine as well. So five days. I'm happy. Yes, it's coming to an end. It's, it's been ex exciting. Ex run. It's, it's been exciting. exciting run, yeah. Absolutely. One of the trends we discovered here over the last uh, five days was serenity. Definitely a trend uh, in all, many of the conversations. So um, maybe you can give me your thoughts on serenity from NSGs from the Saudi point of view. Uh, I think sovereignty could mean uh, a world multitude of things, and I think it's more of a more of a scale and not black and white. So either you have sovereignty or not. I think it's more of a scale of where you are on that scale of sovereignty. And uh, at NSG, we realize as as a, as a the Saudi space champion that we have a role to play in building uh, an ecosystem that uh, is established and and supports increasing that level of sovereignty within yeah. Saudi Arabia within the space industry and so it could start it could be anything from transfer of technology up until how owning state owned assets and so forth it's it's a, it's, it's a wide wide uh, scale quite frankly but we are here to increase and contribute to that uh, scale quite frankly uh, through our work with uh, multiple organizations within Saudi Arabia we ensure that we address that level of required sovereignty and not just for security concerns or military uh, military markets but we're, we're really building an ecosystem here so uh, we ensure that we are delivering knowledge and know-how mm -hmm. to local talent we are contributing to training preparing the next generation of local professionals who can come and enter into the earth observation market but we're also acting as a bridge we are discovering we're exploring we're collaborating with the guys we met here over the yeah. last week here in, into uh, discovering what's out there in the global ecosystems and bringing it into within local context so that Saudi Arabia can have, can have a booming um, a space and earth observation market which is quite frankly what's happening now in Saudi Arabia a very dynamic and growing uh, Saudi space market. Let's stick on this serenity theme and let's connect it to the downstream applications yes. and and AI. Yeah, I mean um, NSG made some serious, significant um, acquisitions over True. the last years. Uh, yes. So you have a heritage in that. Yeah. How do you play that out? This sovereignty aspect to using international systems. Okay. Uh, so yes, uh, NSG uh, was has been since establishment on a very rapid growth trajectory. Uh, we started out, you know, with a within the Earth observation industry. We started out with acquiring a company called Tucken ETS. We later rebranded it to Geospatial Services. Yeah. Uh, this company is a, is one of the, is the premier value-added service provider for Earth observation services and capabilities within uh, the Saudi market. And we followed that acquisition by uh, you, I think you saw the news last December. We acquired a company called Up42, which is a marketplace uh, which is acting very well. Uh, performing very well in European markets. Uh, the objective here is to have built a end-to-end -end capability within NSG to deliver value to our customers. Mm -hmm. Within Saudi Arabia, of course, we are serving as a homegrown uh, field, uh, but also within the region and on a global context, meaning that through Saudi-owned assets, hosted within Saudi Arabia, operated by a local, local talent, we are able to deliver to our customers a, a, a plethora of data and from different data sources and different data sets uh, across the Earth observation of value chain all the way through near real-time streamlined AI powered insights for our customers. That full stack of capabilities within Earth observation is all now uh, in, in, multi in different contexts local capability. Mm -hmm. This, I think, is a key contributor to your sovereignty of Saudi Arabia. We have customers that require said services be through local capabilities and we are proactively fulfilling that demand and that need, as the case is in different countries yeah. around the world, to fulfill that need through said ca uh, accumulated capabilities as a full stack provider of earth, cutting edge earth observation capabilities within the Saudi context. 
I assume that includes the civil and the uh, military side. Is that yes, correct? I think we have, we were through through uh, the capabilities of the companies that we acquired, through mm -hmm. the expertise that we have at NSC, we're talking about 600 employees at NSC oh, yeah, right okay. now. So we are on a very high trajectory growth rate. Is that we 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 have been serving quite frankly that dual purpose uh, projects and services. Right. We have been working and proactively within the security market, but also within the commercial market, and I think that gives us insights into how to create efficiencies within what we do to help deliver the value that each market requires. Uh, we are building on uh, the resources, we're building on the capabilities, we're building on the uh, on mechanisms mm -hmm. and also market insights. Uh, but we're also seeing, quite frankly, a, 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 a more shift towards in, within the ecos large ecosystem. I think more and more we're finding organizations from both markets yeah. are becoming to collaborate, to leverage e what each Absolutely. has from different markets. And our role here is to facilitate that mm -hmm. and to encourage that and to uh, uh, create opportunities for that dual purpose, that dual purpose uh, usage of products and services and data, uh, which will h eventually create efficiencies, m enable us to deliver faster, more, uh, more efficient results, and pass on that benefit to our customers within both markets. I mean, Saudi Arabia, including NSG, made it up among the top countries when it comes to the space ecosystem, yes. to the Earth observation capabilities over yes. the last um, yeah. years. So how does NSG in particular contribute to your ecosystem in, in the country? Maybe you can highlight a few topics to, sure. our, to our audience. I think it's, yeah, we're looking at Saudi Arabia's uh, space industry. I think yeah. it's, it's remarkable what's happening. Uh, the, the rate of of change and development within the Saudi uh, space uh, market is just uh, unbelievably fast, unbelievably aspirational. Uh, you have an ecosystem that has a very active Saudi mm -hmm. space agency and a regulator that is enabling uh, uh, companies to work and be innovative, CST, uh, uh, and I mentioned them because they are very yeah. proactive, quite frankly, and supportive. And you have the Saudi space Gym. PIF established the NSG, Neo Space Group, for a purpose. Yes, we need to contribute to diversifying the, lo the local economy, but we also need, con need to contribute to building a local, vibrant ecosystem. And we do this in multiple ways, in multiple facets. We act, as I mentioned, as a bridge. Mm -hmm. we, in we collaborate with companies around the world, with partners, we're innovative, we're smart people. Yeah. Like I met today and I had the pleasure uh, over the last week to interact with and to collaborate with and bringing that, what's in the global local systems within the lo localizing it within that local context. But also we are contributing to local ecosystem through uh, pursuing globalization mm -hmm. so you know globalization through localization what we we are leveraging what we what we have accumulated over uh, from the local market into venturing into regional markets within the near near future uh, I think we are we are contributing effectively to a local workforce so yeah. we have as I mentioned six over 600 employees at NSG mm -hmm. and we're talking about Around 88% of them are local talent, young local very talent coming out of universities. Yeah. We are training them on job with very detailed uh, technical functions, uh, which will help them take their careers to the next level mm. with us and with other companies within that ecosystem. We are proactively co collaborating with our partners within Saudi Arabia, leveraging what other uh, PIF companies have, what other private companies have. Uh, and so I think within that context, in our contribution to local, uh, diversifying local economy, Mm -hmm. to the local talent and within the local value supply chain within Saudi Arabia leveraging everything that everything of that those three dimensions into venturing venturing uh, within the on the short to midterm venturing to global markets I think that serves a local okay. that local it helps demonstrate the value the sheer value and potential of this Saudi vibrant marketing inviting other players to venture into this market Absolutely. Let's finish on a note um, con um, that contains the Saudi 2030 strategy, yeah. the overarching strategy. We read about that over the last uh, years and we're seeing step by step, step how that is implemented. So how does everything you just mentioned feeds into the overarching Saudi 2030 strategy? 
I think uh, what the PIF, the Public Investment Fund in Saudi Arabia, has been doing over the years is to build local capacity and capability. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, that doesn't come through a, a mere procurement system. It comes through investing in companies that can really start to contribute and localize yeah. what is out there in the world within the Saudi context and contribute to the work, to a local workforce. Mm -hmm. uh, Sandra, I think Vision 20, uh, the objectives are many and the programs are many and ambitious, yeah. but I think uh, it's focused really around human capability. In Saudi Arabia, we have around 33 million and the average uh, and over 50% of them are less than 30 years old. Wow. You have a very yeah. young yeah. Uh, populace. The education rates are high. 100% of the population is online, yeah. right? And so, and they're well adverse in, in global and technology developments uh, around the world. Mm -hmm. We have a workforce that is eager to contribute Great. to different uh, and upcoming and emerging technologies. Space industry, I think, is second to only AI and machine learning industry. And so uh, we are venturing into this exciting industry it only makes sense for Vision 2030, for the PIF, for NSG to really focus its efforts on building local capacity and capability through human, re through human capabilities and also ha acting as a bridge, identifying and bringing in through collaborations, productive, beautiful collaborations yeah. with organizations around the world, companies, academia, Co coalitions around the world and ushering in what's the latest in global global ecosystems within the Saudi context and over the last year or two and you, what you'll see into up, running up to 2030 and beyond yeah. is a growth trajectory of this emerging industry uh, like nothing before nothing you've seen before Hassan thank you very much for your time it's I wish pleasure. you and the company good luck for the Appreciate next steps awesome. great great pleasure to to talk and to follow up with you guys and with that, we say goodbye here. Space watch out. <laughs>